Welcome to this edition of Lakeside Physics. In this video we will introduce you to Newton's third law. Now according to Newton, to every action there is always opposed an equal reaction, or the mutual actions of two bodies upon each other are always equal and directed to contrary parts. Ugh. Well, people often say, for every action there is an opposite and equal reaction. Another way to say this is, if object A exerts a force on object B, object B exerts the same force in the opposite direction on object A. So let's think about a couple of clarifications here. First, when we say that the force of A on B is equal to negative the force of B on A, you'll notice that we can think about flipping those words. So if it's truly a Newton's third law pair, then you should be able to flip the two parts. So uh, a applies a force on B, B applies a force on A. The two fo forces, again, we call action-reaction pairs. The pairs are the same type of force, so for example, if it's a, one is a normal force, the other one will be also a normal force. They have the same magnitude and direction, and they act on different objects, so the two objects in this case being A and B using Newton's third law. Despite the action-reaction forces being the same on two objects, you may not see the same effects. The objects have different masses, and other forces may be acting on each object. Action-reaction pairs are important when solving problems that have two objects exerting forces on each other. We will be talking about two-body problems, and this is an example of where it is important. For a single object, Newton's third law is never used. So here's an example. I have a 65 kilogram astronaut that is falling towards Earth. Draw a free body diagram for the astronaut. He has one force acting on him, the force of his weight, the force of the Earth pulling on him. So what is Newton's third law reaction force to the astronaut's weight? Well that, believe it or not, is that the astronaut pulls on the Earth. So this force of gravity acts on both the astronaut and the Earth. So the Earth pulls on the astronaut, the astronaut pulls on the Earth. Those forces are equal but opposite directions. Which object has the greater acceleration? Well, we have this force on A is equal to in magnitude to the force on the Earth. Now for the force on the astronaut, it has a little mass and so it's going to have a big acceleration versus the force on the Earth has a huge mass and therefore it must have a very, very, very small acceleration. So even though the force is the same, the resulting acceleration and motion of the object is not. Let's consider another example. A 65 kilogram person is ice skating on frictionless ice. As he reaches the wall, he pushes against it so he can come to a stop. Consider the time interval where he is slowing to a stop. Let's first draw a free body diagram for the person. We have the person's weight pulling down, normal force pushing up, and then this wall pushing it to the person to the left. Notice that the free body diagram shows the forces acting on the person. For a single object, the free body diagram will never contain any action-reaction pairs because the free body diagram only shows the forces acting on one object and action-reaction pairs are always acting on two different objects. So let's consider what the reaction force is to gravity acting on the person. Well, that is the force the person applies to Earth, the gravity acting on Earth from the person. That is our action-reaction pair to the weight. What is the reaction force to the normal force acting on the person? So the ground is pushing the person up. Our reaction pair is that the person applies a force to the ground that is downward. Notice they're equal, but again opposite directions. And finally, what is the reaction force to the wall pushing on the person? The person pushes on the wall. That is our reaction force. Now, let's consider the wall and the person. Who pushed harder, the person on the wall or the wall on the person? Well, again, according to Newton's third law, those two should be the same. Now, clearly, the person has an acceleration. They go from moving to coming to a rest. Why doesn't the wall? 
Well, the wall has additional forces acting upon it from supports or whatever is actually holding up the wall. So while the wall has a zero acceleration, our person has a negative acceleration or um, an acceleration that causes them to come to rest. Even though this third law says those, the forces are the same, the two objects do very different things because of the various forces that act upon them. And that's it. If you have any questions, let us know. Again, Newton's third law states that for every force, there is an equal but opposite reaction force.